I wake up, I don't touch my phone, I spend some time outside with my kids, and then the next thing I do is I sit down with my journal. Here's the morning routine of Ryan Holiday, one of the leading experts on Stoic philosophy of this millennium. He doesn't touch his phone, a wise decision. Avoiding the phone first thing in the morning has several practical and psychological motivations, many of which align with Stoic principles. Spending time with his children, Spending time with your children in the morning is a way to cultivate deep human relationships, which are fundamental for a virtuous life according to Stoicism. Stoics value caring for others and consider justice, including responsibility towards family, one of the cardinal virtues. Additionally, sharing meaningful moments in the morning helps live in the present, strengthening family bonds. Not touching the phone upon waking is a practice that can improve mental and physical well-being, reduce stress, and increase productivity. From a Stoic perspective, it is an act of self-discipline that promotes reflection, wisdom, and virtue. Avoiding unnecessary distractions and keeping the mind focused on what truly matters. And then, then you should journal. So I've been journaling off and on for most of my life. You know, I started when I was a kid, I would stop, I would get started. Like a lot of people, it was a habit that I knew was important, but it just never really stuck. Ryan Holiday recalls visiting his friend Casey Neistat, who had shelves full of journals containing years of creative thoughts. Fascinated by this practice, Casey suggested he start immediately, so Ryan bought a moleskin, and journaling has since become part of his morning routine. Ryan, author of 11 or 12 books on Stoic philosophy, has spoken globally and integrated journaling into his decade-and-a-half philosophical journey. He firmly believes that Stoicism and journaling are inseparable, using tools like the Daily Stoic Journal to reflect daily on thought-provoking questions and build positive habits. The first lesson I would give anyone about journaling is like, just start. Don't stress about tools, don't stress about time, don't stress about how much, how little, should you read it? Like, just do it. Ryan advises starting without stressing over tools or time and suggests using simple journals like one line a day to build the habit. The key is to start small, create momentum, and make journaling a consistent practice. Walter Isaacson, when he was writing his epic biography of Steve Jobs, talked about how they went and they tried to find a bunch of old documents and journals that uh, Steve Jobs had done on one of the early Macintoshes. And even Steve Jobs, with all his computing genius and access to the best programmers and, you know, designers and engineers in the world, couldn't manage to get these files off this old Mac. And Walter Isaacson was joking about how absurd that was. You know, you couldn't access these files that were just, uh, you know, a decade, a couple decades old at most. And yet he could spend hours poring over the journals of Leonardo da Vinci. Don't think of journaling as this epic thing, but but it also is important. And, and there's something important about doing it on physical paper. I think it's good to be free of devices anyway to have something that's not digital. But I just love the idea that, you know, six, seven hundred years later or whatever, da Vinci's journals are still legible and usable. But things that you did two iPhones ago are lost. Epictetus says every night, keep in mind thoughts like these, write them down, read them aloud, and discuss them with yourself and with others. This thing that you just absorb one time that's just in your brain and you have it forever, it's actually an ongoing process and engagement with the ideas over and over again. One of the criticisms of Marcus Aurelius' meditations by academics who don't get this is that it's kind of repetitive. It's repetitive, sure, but he was doing it over a long period of time. He might have wrote one entry and then another one seven years later. It could have been seven days apart. But this is what he needed. This is what he was struggling with. He wasn't writing the journal for you. Uh, he was writing them for himself. And actually, in Caridian, that's uh, what we what survives to us from Epictetus. It, it's this idea of at hand. It's, it's there for you. It's almost like a weapon. So when you think of journaling, don't think of it as... Ryan Holiday considers journaling a fundamental part of his Stoic practice. For him... Stoicism is not something assimilated once, but a continuous process of engaging with the ideas. Despite academic criticisms of the repetitiveness in Marcus Aurelius' meditations, Ryan emphasizes that this repetitive reflection was what Marcus needed. He wasn't writing for the public, but for himself. 
Holiday notes that, as Epictetus advises, keeping one's thoughts always at hand, journaling serves as a personal tool to tackle daily challenges. He explores Stoicism daily in his journal, finding useful reminders of Stoic ideas and actively engaging in this reflective process. Ryan emphasizes the importance of creating distance between oneself and one's thoughts, much like Marcus Aurelius did in his meditations. Marcus wasn't writing for the world, but for himself. And this reflection on paper helped him view his thoughts from a new perspective. Philosophy, like journaling, is an active practice and a continuous dialogue with oneself. Ryan Holiday shows that journaling is an essential practice for anyone who wants to live a more reflective and intentional life. Through journaling, not only can we better handle daily challenges, but we can also cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and our reactions. By following the example of Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, and drawing inspiration from modern figures like Casey Neistat and Steve Jobs, we can see journaling not just as a way to document our thoughts, but as a powerful tool for personal and philosophical growth. Start today, without stressing, and discover how this practice can enrich your life. Follow us for more Stoic advice, and leave a comment sharing your morning routine.